Ireland, a land surrounded by one of life's essential tools for survival, water, a resource we must look after responsibly. There are few farms with heavy wet soils that do not have a problem with rushes. They limit the production potential of the farmland and where they come to dominate fields, rushes reduce biodiversity. Options to address this problem are limited. Cutting can offer short-term control, but must be repeated on a regular basis. Increasingly, residues of pesticides, especially MCPA, are being detected in water courses, which could ultimately end up in the water you're consuming. This video will demonstrate the correct procedures when applying pesticides to grassland, with an emphasis on rush control by MCPA-based products. Mayo farmer John Joe Murray speaks with his Chagask advisor Mary Roach about controlling the rushes on his farm. First of all, we've got to cut what's there. And maybe six to eight weeks after cutting the older rush, you go back in and you spray the nice, fresh, actively growing green rush because that will take product up a lot better than wasting it on a lot of dead material and a lot of old rush. Mary advises John Joe to use an MCPA based spray such as Mortone, and explains the legal requirements for spraying. There must be a buffer zone of at least 5 metres from the nearest water course, the product is not for use in an APSAC sprayer, and is not for use in a weed liquor. The tractor sprayer must also be tested, and the user must have done the course to be a registered pesticide user. Check the weather forecast. There should not be any rain forecast for the next 48 hours. Also, the ground conditions, that you have good driving ground conditions, no standing water in the field. Mary also advises against spraying in the wind, so as directed by his Chagask advisor, JJ takes to his tractor to top the rushes in preparation for spraying. Six to eight weeks later, John Joe determines that it's the opportune time to spray. He checks the weather forecast. He then ensures his ground conditions are suitable for spraying. He then purchases the pesticides from his agri-store. Chemicals can provide effective long-term control, but must be applied with care to the environment and should only be considered if other methods are unlikely to provide adequate control. Products containing the active substances MCPA have been shown to be effective in controlling rushes but must be used in accordance with the label recommendations. The distributor explains to John Joe the correct use of the product and advises that traces of MCPA have been found in watercourses locally. Always read the label carefully and stringently adhere to the 5 metre buffer zone. Now, do you mind if I take your name, address and phone number for no record? Yeah, uh, John tomorrow. John Joe then prepares for spraying by first positioning the sprayer, which has of course been tested, on a containment lid. He then three-quarter fills the tank with water, ensuring the hose doesn't drop into the tank in the process. Taking the pesticide from safe storage, John Joe consults the label and determines that 2.25 litres of product in 200 litres of water will cover 0.5 hectares. Five fills of the sprayer will be needed to cover his 2.5 hectares. Donning his safety mask, he proceeds to measure out his requirements. After carefully pouring the product into the sprayer, the measuring jug is rinsed three times into the tank in addition to rinsing the container. John Joe fills the sprayer with water, checking for adequate agitation within the tank. He then drives out to the field to measure out the required 5 metre buffer strip. Once John Joe has applied five tanks to his field, he one-third fills his tank again with water to spray out the washings. Spraying complete, it's important to wash down the booms in preparation for future spraying. Finally, John Joe fills out the required records of use, safely completing the spraying process. <laughs> 